Welcome back to Caliber 3's second episode of Tactical Pouches. Today we'll be checking out the Elegant Pouch and the Concealment Pouch. The Concealment Pouch may appear too small to be carrying a firearm, but in fact, these two gaps on the side are part of the main hole. It would easily fit a small pistol like this Glock 42, but if necessary, you can use these gaps to fit in a small pistol and another medium sized pistol, for example, the Glock 19 we have here, and they would both fit in perfectly inside the pouch. The steps for drawing a weapon from the concealment pouch are exactly the same as with the standard. If you haven't seen our previous episode, the link is in the description. The elegant pouch is a little bit less common, a little bit less known, which makes walking around with it a little bit more covert. Inside the pouch, you would also have a universal holster with an adaptable Velcro safety. Some elegant pouches, like this one for example, are non-symmetrical, which means they can only be worn in standard diagonal. Now, I would not recommend walking around with this pouch to your back. It should be on your side or in best cases in your front. But when you're walking around with the pouch to your side, the steps for drawing the weapon are as follows. The first step would be positioning your body while using your dominant hand to push the pouch forward. The second step would be ripping open the mechanism and reaching for the weapon. Another feature of this pouch might come in handy in situations when you're feeling an upcoming threat. In those cases, you can always pre-release the mechanism and convert this pouch into a standard holster. In this case, you can simply reach for the weapon and draw without any difficulty. As always, thank you for watching Caliber 3's tactical equipment. Next week we'll be checking out the shoulder carry holster. Join us.